Hey guys, it's Lyronix here, and today we are making another Farm World video. Today, there is an update. It is the lawnmower update. No, I do not have it. <laughs> Sadly, it's not in the shop. It's not with this guy here, which is about to be leaving in a minute. But, you know, he doesn't have it either. Sadly, do we get to watch him just disappear, though? We're gonna have to, like, sit here and watch. But anyways, yeah! <laughs> Hopefully I have to look out for that too. So now I am after three things. I'm after the female veterinarian, the male veterinarian, and now a lawnmower. <laughs> Which is so funny because usually when you morph, it's supposed to be like you're either an animal or a human, not a lawnmower. <laughs> so it's kind of funny when I open up the morph menu and you just see lawnmower as an option because... <laughs> What? <laughs> Hold on, I just want to see you just disappear. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Are you just gonna leave? Or are you just gonna think you're supposed to disappear now? I think you're supposed to go away. Leave. Leave. Go. <laughs> I want to see him just get up and go away. It's 310, so I'm assuming you should leave now, right? The one or two come to town first 10 minutes of every hour. Yes, so does that mean you disappear at like 311 though? Get out of my face! Does, is that what that means? I really don't know. I'm gonna sit and watch you. I really need to change the eyes to like a pink color because these red eyes is just not fitting it. <laughs> Alright, I don't know why I want to just sit here and watch him disappear, but like, I want to see what happens. I just disappear? What happens? What does happen? Do you just get up and walk away and then disappear? Like, what happens? Do you just poof and you're gone? Is that the magic behind the mysterious shopkeeper man? Uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> yes? No? Uh. I think, I think you broke a bit because it's past the 10 minutes, so um, yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, back away and then maybe come back in a few and check if you're okay or not. Alright, reward stats, okay. I barely got any money to buy anything anyways. I totally can't see because I'm blocking, but I only have like 60 right now, <laughs> which might be a problem if they ever do come into the shop. So I will have to work up to getting that money. All right, there we go. Get some pink eyes because his red eyes just doesn't match. Wait, what? No! <laughs> we missed him. Was it because we left though? Did he only stay because I was close to him? You're mean. So you mean if I was sitting here this entire time, I could have just like, you would have stayed? Is that what I'm getting here? You would have stayed? What? All right, but anyways, hold on. So look, if we go to a morph menu here, which is gonna be in this one, click. So you can be a lawnmower. <laughs> so I don't know exactly what happened because the picture shows that it's a guy riding a lawnmower. So I don't know if you turn into a lawnmower or if you turn into a guy on a lawnmower. What I'm thinking though is you turn into the lawnmower and the picture is just anybody who is a person kind of just rides you around like a lawnmower. I don't know. <laughs> so what I'm kind of picking up here. I'm just gonna play as one that I haven't played as in a while. And now I realize why I haven't played as this one in a while. It is super slow. <laughs> Hold on, let's change up this look because that stem is disgusting. Um, I like that. I like that. That makes a nice, like, shine. I feel like the black, like, makes the shine stand out more, though. Alright, that looks nice. Now let's change the aura and trail. Kind of, I guess, fit it. Ooh, we're on fire! <laughs> um, I don't really have one to kind of match. Jack o' lantern. <laughs> no English whatsoever. Clouds. I mean, I like that because it gives me kind of that foggy feeling. <laughs> okay, why does the flames like coming out of the pumpkin look so weird? Like, it's funny looking. <laughs> I'm going so fast. I'm on fire. We got feathers, steam. Oh, we can be a steamy pumpkin though. I don't know how I feel about being a steamy pumpkin though. You can be stinky. <laughs> You'll be like, P.U., that's a stinky pumpkin. Alright, 
let's just, I guess, walk over here. Wait, this is the door, right? I mean, I can't really tell. They don't really look like doors because there's no handle on it. But you know what? So the door. All right. I'm here for my checkup. There's no one in here. I can't even jump. Okay, that might be a problem. Let's morph again. So I'm going to try and use animals, people I haven't used in a while because usually when I do this, I am usually just the same animal I've been using constantly. So how about you? That would be different, right? I am a deer. We am on fire. I just kind of look bald and sad. All right, let me fix the flames now because now the flames don't look too good. <laughs> When you have like a really like spicy food or something, that that's just that's it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Glitter. We're gonna poo the glitter. All right, let's see. Where am I going? I'm trying to get out. I'm not doing it too good. I'm not doing a good job at it. All right, um, get this out of my face because I can't see nothing. <laughs> it's kind of causing a problem here. All right, is it still raining? Well, it's not raining. All right, we're good. We're in the clear. It's not raining now. For some reason, it's been raining a lot in the games I've been playing in, but I'm also kind of assuming it's because they're trying to make it more like spring related because you know, spring equals rain, you know? But at the same time, I don't know if it's just the game that just rains on its own, but I, every time I make a video, it's raining in the game. I don't know. <laughs> also to add to this video that I don't really know what I'm doing, I have my handy dandy sketchbook next to me. Ta-da! It's mixed media. <laughs> so this one has colored drawings, but like usual, there's green! Which I guess is green is okay because you can kind of see it without it being mean. I don't know. But that's a picture that's pretty new and I like it except I smudged it a lot and my sister smudged it too. <laughs> and then here's something I did today which is really dumb because I was usually using kind of like a chibi style I guess. Chibi style, I don't know but this is I guess I was making characters, they're not fantasy characters, they're not meant to be in like a fantasy world, I was making I guess like these guys right here which are not um, fantasy guys as you can tell they're just normal kids. I'm trying to take these normal people and give them like I guess alter egos and then I guess give them a bunch why not. I have, I actually was brainstorming a lot today, so I have a friend group which I do need to add more characters to it, which would probably be annoying, <laughs> especially for me because I'm the one drawing it, but I am planning to add two females to the friend group, maybe another guy, and that other guy is probably going to be one of my sister's characters because I asked her if she wanted to make a character for the friend group, and so, yeah. But then I already have four guys who I have, which I'm pretty sure I've mentioned Teddy and Avery before. Yes, I did. I was talking about an animation I did with them. But Teddy and Avery, and then Owen, Craig. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't believe I forgot his name. So you got Craig, Teddy, Avery, and Owen, which I know their names aren't the best. And it just, they're all, their names all together just isn't good at all it doesn't sound nice but <laughs> anyways they're just i guess a friend group and they're really into like i guess role play and then i guess using their imagination is just something they're all really good at so you know i've made them have all these different tons of like alter egos of like their role playing selves i guess that makes sense i don't think that makes sense at all <laughs> but i have them as superheroes and then craig is the villain i just because of his personality Personality, I was like this guy would probably want to be more of a villain than a superhero and then I have the kingdom kind of alter egos which I just showed you and I'm gonna have to color that drawing at some point and if I can try to remember not to add any green that would be lovely because <laughs> then I could show you guys the picture but then I also have them as two of them are monsters and the two are monster hunters so I have those ego alter egos where I think Teddy and Craig are the monsters, which I gave Craig this kind of like Windigo-like monster character, and then 
Teddy, more of this like, I guess, demon character, if you remember me describing that animation I was doing. That's why I gave him more of the demon kind of look for the monster one. And then I have Avery and Owen as the monster hunters there. And then obviously I'm going to be creating more because I'm bored. <laughs> We're in quarantine, gotta find something to do, you know? So I was also thinking maybe something like um gods or something like greek mythology i guess because i feel like that'd be kind of cool for them to like all act like they're gods and then i guess get into fights with each other just like um the greek gods did <laughs> whatever greek god stuff i don't know but i don't know i felt like doing something like that just fun things where they can use their imagination to the max and it would be kind of fun for me to draw because then instead of just drawing them as themselves i can draw them as i guess people from a kingdom i can draw them like outer space i can draw them as monsters superheroes i can like come up with all these different little stories with just the same characters just because i gave them all these different little egos which is nice <laughs> because then i don't have to keep creating more and more characters just to have fun with stories i can just kind of pretend like characters themselves made up the stories and their own costumes and boom you put them into a situation they figure it out themselves yeah <laughs> i don't know and then i felt like adding more people because then you know the more the merrier because if it's just the four of them it's gonna get kind of lonely plus if you're thinking like a kingdom there's not only four people in a kingdom there's tons of people <laughs> and with the kingdom i have as you saw in that drawing hold on let me get it again so i can kind of explain it because once again i don't really know what i'm doing in this video so explaining art is kind of good but right here so if it would focus which it's having a problem doing but you can kind of see it but craig i guess is more of i try to give him like an outsider look like he has been banished from the kingdom like he has been put to the curbs i guess just he he's not wanted so he's kind of mad looking but there's ace his bearded dragon and so ace is a sweetheart i had fun creating ace because like i mentioned before in a video i don't really give my characters pets and i was like all right well i'm going to give some of my characters pets this time so i gave craig a bearded dragon and i gave owen two frogs i know they're kind of just out there animals not really ones you would probably have <laughs> but i gave them those kind of characters I, I gave them those kind of pets because i kind of felt like it fit their personalities. Then if you look over here, you got Avery and Teddy, which Avery is supposed to be a knight, and I named him um, Sir Avery the Brave <laughs> because I didn't really have a good like knight kind of name, so I just gave him something dumb. And then Teddy over here is just supposed to be the prince, so he's just Prince Teddy. And then Owen, I guess, is just a happy little troll guy. I didn't know what to make him because I was like, I don't really want to make him just like kind of a peasant-like character. I want to give him a purpose, but I don't want to make him royalty or anything. So I was just giving him the purpose of being a troll. Either he can be a helpful troll or a bad troll. With Owen's personality, I'd say he's more of a helpful troll because he's supposed to be the happy-go-lucky friend and he's supposed to I guess kind of make everybody feel better if anyone's upset you know just that friend that's always there for you when you need it I guess because you need one of those friends and a friend because if you don't your friend group might just kind of fall apart <laughs> Because if you're always at each other's necks, nothing, you guys will just break apart instantly. No friendship. But if you got your, your happy-go-lucky friend, they're there to just be like, guys, look, it's fine. There's nothing to fight about. It's a pencil. <laughs> and then just kind of copped and obvious as well. You know, just they're there. They know what they're doing. They're the mature friend, the kind of, I guess, mom friend of the group. You know how you got that mom friend? I have a mom friend in our group <laughs> but you know then there's the really immature kids which I'm that one in the friend group and if I didn't have the mom friend in the group 
I'd probably be mad at every single person in the friend group because everybody is kind of annoying. But you can't change that because that's how people are. Nobody's perfect. So when you got mom friend there to just tell you once in a while that everything's fine and that there's no point in fighting about this, then you realize there is no point in fighting about this. So yeah, <laughs> mom friend, a good friend. Yay. But yeah, that's really just the kind of person I made Owen to be because I have Avery who could care less about everything. I have Craig who just gets mad at anything and everything. I have <laughs> Teddy who's scared of everything and anything. And then you got Owen there who's just there and just kind of making them all feel better. Which I'm going to have to try and find personalities for the two girls. Like I got to give them personalities just so they can kind of fit in with the group. I feel like if I have another kind of happy like character but still kind of not always happy that would be best because having two very cheerful people can get annoying <laughs> so if i have a kind of half happy person and then i got them kind of they get angry really easily though like hot-headed about stuff then i feel like that would be kind of better and then you can have the other girl can kind of help the other one calm down a bit i guess whenever she gets hot-headed i don't know this is stuff I gotta figure out and write down in my other sketchbook, which if you saw my room could at least spot six sketchbooks in less than a second. <laughs> Cause they're all just spread out on my couch right now, which is where I draw. And so, yeah, I don't know why I don't draw here, which it is a desk, but at the same time, I find the couch a much better place to draw cause then TV's there. <laughs> You can listen to music from there, which I know I can listen from music from the computer, but I don't really have a light light that kind of helps with drawing over here. I have recording lights like that one, that one, and that one. <laughs> so those aren't really supposed to be used to help me draw, you know, but over there I have a lamp for drawing. So yeah, I don't really know why I'm explaining my room. But yeah, that's really all I have today because all I just wanted to say was there was an update for those who don't know. Most people already do know, they kind of tell me before I even know. And also just kind of wanted to share how I guess I've been doing. <laughs> I've been doing great! Just over there in the corner, just ribbling, just like staring like what is happening? He okay? <laughs> Doesn't look okay. She's been in that corner for two hours scribbling on the same page not okay I assure you I'm I, I assure you I am okay I'm just drawing <laughs> but yeah I guess that's really it that's all I have from this for now I don't know if I should just make a video just so I stop interrupting these videos with me talking about random stuff I feel like I should just make a video about my art or something maybe do a sketchbook tour because I've seen artists do that before which they <laughs> have really long sketchbooks, sketchbook tours, which I would too. If I were to start at the very beginning, we would have to go through more than 20 sketchbooks, okay? <laughs> so I don't think you really want a sketchbook tour unless it's like my latest sketchbook. So I guess I'll have to see if I do a video like that. I mean, I would enjoy it personally because I'd be talking the whole time just about art. But I don't know if it would be really good to just put on this channel because, I mean, not many people on here do care about my art. So <laughs> it's my bad to even start talking in the video about it. So, yeah. <laughs> I gotta kind of just leave that to Instagram where my art is, even though I barely ever touch Instagram, which is my bad. Hopefully, once I color this drawing in here, I can post it to Instagram, so then I guess you guys can get a better look at the dumb little art style I did. <laughs> Before we go, take a look at these doodles. Oh crap, the duck is yellow. Yellow just doesn't work apparently. But there's Blobfish, there's Bob the Blob and a duck, I guess. The duck isn't my favorite, but Bob the Blob is. You guys already know. So I think you guys already know who Bob is. If you don't, get educated. I guess <laughs> scroll through my videos, try and find Bob. He was in my videos at some point. I'll have to bring him back because 
I say that about a lot of things, but I mean it when I say I'll bring Bob back, because Bob is an idol, like, Bob is it, okay? <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about when I say Bob is the best, unless you know Bob personally. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, be part of Light Squad, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!